Earlier, we said a UX roadmap is a strategic living artifact. That's because a successful roadmap isn't intended for one-time use only. Rather, the roadmap owner should plan to revisit and update the roadmap. When they do, they'll want to groom their roadmap doing the following. Move address problem cards to the completed column. Refill the now column with the next problem cards. Reprioritize items based on new learnings. Finally, add new cards to the future column. Most roadmaps are updated monthly, as this is enough time to make progress on any given problem card, while also not forgetting that reasoning behind a certain card's language or time horizon placement. Your organization, however, may prefer weekly or quarterly. In either case, you should schedule your next revision in advance so that you ensure it does occur. Whenever you do review the UX roadmap, make sure you present it consistently and succinctly doing the following. Number one, you set and remind stakeholders of context. You'll want to ensure both experienced and new stakeholders understand why and where the roadmap came from. And this brief reminder keeps everyone aligned. Number two, share the now column progress first. Often, this will include research findings which are needed to begin addressing cards in the future time horizons. If a card has been addressed, congratulations. Move it to the completed column and maybe even share some high fives with your team when you do. Number three, zoom out to the future columns. These are ideas that are the most ambiguous and have the least confidence, so discussion around them can quickly become rabbit holes. By leaving these items for the end of the meeting, you frame the overall conversation to be exploratory and brief, not in-depth and definitive. Now, at some point, you may find yourself wondering if you need a new UX roadmap. While a roadmap doesn't change every month or even quarter, there are some events that might prompt you to think about overhauling your UX roadmap with an entirely new one. The most common reason, leadership has changed. When a new leader joins the team, they often come with a new business goal or direction. Lean into their energy and let it revitalize your UX roadmap from the group up. It's a great way to educate them on the process as well. Another reason, you dumb messed up. Sometimes teams get so misaligned or the business has changed so much that your original UX roadmap is no longer relevant or even understandable. That's okay. Redo the UX roadmap, but this time, double your effort on the high-level goal or vision statement and ensure that you incorporate any new initiatives into this revitalized artifact. Finally, it's a new year. Annual planning is a natural indicator that a UX roadmap has reached its expiration date. Lean into the excitement of a new year and apply lessons learned from the prior UX roadmap. And that's it. You now have all the information you need to align your many stakeholders to work together as a team towards your vision and desired business outcomes. I hope you find this information directly applicable to your business. And when you do apply it, I'd love to hear your stories of success. Thank you for allowing me to serve as your Sherpa on this UX roadmap journey. Onward and upward.